Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Russo from 7 News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Emergency responders in Niagara Falls getting a big boost in funding to help them improve their vehicle fleets and stations. City Council members approving more than $380,000 in American Rescue Plan funding for the city's police and fire departments. Niagara Falls police will get the bulk of that money to buy 10 new police cruisers. And about $44,000 is being earmarked to upgrade windows, heating and AC at fire stations around the city. Friends and family of a local boy who's been missing for nearly two years gathered near the Buffalo Central Terminal Friday evening to celebrate his birthday, hoping and praying he'll be found and come home safe. Jalen Griffin turned 14 on Friday. He was about five foot three and weighed about 145 pounds when he was last seen in August of 2020 in Buffalo. Anyone with information on where he is should call Buffalo Police. Authorities at the Naval Park in downtown Buffalo City, the USS The Sullivans is now stable. Divers have plugged at least a dozen holes in the ship over the last three days. About 20,000 gallons of water has been pumped out. Crews have removed 40 key artifacts from the floating museum. All right, time now to check in the weekend forecast. Here's Autumn Lewandowski. Well, our temperatures today will be much milder for Saturday afternoon. We'll see them rise into the lower 60s after some early scattered showers. This is how it goes through time into the afternoon. By noon to 1 o'clock or so, still very scattered, drying out by the time we get to about 2 or even 3 o'clock and onward, just looking good after that. Our 7-day forecast will take us into the upper 70s on Sunday, close to the 80-degree mark. We're still in the 70s on on Monday, some scattered showers then come in and everything changes from there. We're in the 40s on Tuesday, a rain snow mix even across western New York on Wednesday. So still some flakes to fly with highs in the lower seven or lower 40s.